The Republic of Armenia is a region I wanted to visit for a long time. This small, landlocked country, tucked away in the highlands of Western Asia, just seemed so mysterious and foreign to me. And with it being the first country in the world to become a Christian state, I just knew it had so much history and culture to see. So I flew into its capital Yerevan to explore this unique nation and see what treasures it held. After arriving in Yerevan, I hopped in a taxi and headed straight out the city to the place I had been most excited to visit. The Geghard Monastery. This 1,700 year old monastery was originally carved into the side of the mountains, with the main chapel being added in the 13th century. And with Armenia being the first Christian state in the world, I was really excited to enter possibly one of the oldest monasteries known to man. Entering it was like being transported thousands of years back in time, and it was one of the most surreal feelings I've ever had. Wow, that is a pretty surreal place, all just carved in the mountain here. So stunning inside and just so old, it all just echoes, even if you hum, it all echoes. It's just an incredible feeling in there. After exploring around the grounds of the monastery, I found a small path leading into the mountains. So you can actually hike a short way up and there's actually a beautiful viewpoint over the, the church, so I'm going to go check that out now. The path was so peaceful, but arriving at the viewpoint was like seeing something out of a movie. And I just wondered what life was like up here years ago, and what it would be like to sleep the night up here. How amazing would it be to wild camp here? This place right here would make an excellent spot surrounded by all these magnificent mountains. Knowing I wouldn't do that anytime soon, I sat and enjoyed the view, as well as the feeling of being up in the mountains and the beauty of where I was. Wow, honestly, one of the most beautiful churches I've ever seen and the location it is in is just incredible. After exploring the monastery, I found a beautiful restaurant to try some traditional food as well as have a local beer with a stunning view of the mountains. I soon continued along the picturesque valley and arrived at the town of Ghani, where there was the most amazing temple. This insane structure was the renovated Ghani temple, originally made almost 2,000 years ago. It was situated in some of the most incredible mountains and all around I enjoyed breathtaking views as well as enjoying some shade whilst admiring the architecture of the temple. This place has to go down as one of the most unique areas I've travelled to and I felt so blessed to be there and to have had the opportunity to visit it. I then caught a bus back to the bustling streets of Europe to explore one of its main attractions the Cascade Complex. The giant limestone stairs connecting downtown Yerevan with the monument neighborhood. It had lots of modern artwork and it'd be made into a really cool place for people to relax at. I wasn't interested in relaxing though and headed straight up the stairs to see the view of the city from the top. I wouldn't recommend doing this in the middle of the day because it is so hot right now and the stairs are really steep going all the way up. So come early or come late, but not in the middle of the day like I am. The view from up here over the city is just incredible and it's just a crazy thought to think this is one of the oldest inhabited cities on earth and the view over it is definitely a great reward for walking up all those stairs in this hot, hot sun. After visiting this region, I can safely say Armenia is an underrated country and deserves more recognition than it gets. The people, nature and fascinating history are all things that made this trip unforgettable. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing.